Hey, loved ones, it's love. So I'm, I've decided I'm going to start recording things as soon as they happen. So today I went to my physician and I hadn't been in ages. So you had to, well, I had to refill out the, the standard forms. And I got back to help myself wait. So this is what happened. So they, some, this girl came and got me from the waiting room. And I noticed her, like, look me up and down. Like, she could, she took stock of me. I'm like, well, you just look me up and down. Are you, is everything okay? She's like, oh, no, you're, you're so tall and, and beautiful and skinny. You're so skinny. I'm like, oh, I thank you. I think that's a compliment. <laughs> but I think she was taken back. She was taken aback because I caught her looking at me. Like, she really, like, scanned me up and down. Like, I'm like, bitch, okay, well, wait. What's the Like, what's going on? So... I was sitting, waiting on the physician to come in. And you know, before the physician comes in, um, sometimes the nurse, the nurse practitioner comes in. Um, and we're going through like the standard questionnaire. And I'm fine. I was, I was fine. So she got to the question, are you depressed? And every other time I would answer, no. I tell you no lie, you guys. I started boo-hoo crying. The answers that I could get back was um, not at all, some of the time, and all of the time. When I tell you I started crying, and I didn't know why, but it was true. I am depressed. And it's not all the time. So it's, it's I have to do some more research on it because I don't think I suffer from depression. I've been deeply depressed before where I've been a recluse, um, detached from family, detached from friends. Ch true story. My father had to come up here from Miami um, just to make sure everything was okay that he didn't have to file a missing persons report. Um, but I think that I started to answer and started to weep because one, another question was like, do you ever feel not getting, like not getting out of the bed? And of course I do. Like, and all of that has to go hand in hand um, with, um, I'm happy being a trans woman. Like I, I love being transgender, but there's certain disadvantages socially that one has to recognize um, when you're walking in this walk, everybody's not going to like you. Every day just takes strength coming out of your door. Um, yeah. So by the end of the meeting, I, I grabbed a tissue. She had tissues on her desk and I'm just like dabbing up under my eyes like, oh my God. I'm apologizing to her because I had no intentions of crying. Um, but she did say that uh, they're going to refer me out to uh, have counseling. And I've seen a therapist before. Okay, so first question that she asked me was, have you ever uh, seen a mental therapist? And I'm like, yeah, I'm transgender. Like, I saw one when I was in uh, college. Um, to, they gave me my, my letter to go ahead and get all my surgeries and what have you. And, like, the next question was, like, are you depressed? And that, that's when I started to cry. I'm like, oh, my God. I didn't know where that was coming from. But... That's what happened, so, and it's crazy because I look on Facebook all the time, down my timeline, and I see the girls that talk vividly about being depressed and being in depression, and I, I used to always say, oh, girl, what? Girl, you is alive, like, that's enough to be happy for, girl, you is living as your womanist, honey, or in your womanness. that's enough to be happy for, not knowing all the time. That I'm suffering from the same thing, just a different state of it. Life is crazy. I was looking fly today, you guys. I had no intention of crying in this moment's um, presence, but such as life and the truth happened, and it let me see and come to a realization about myself uh, and what I'm dealing with in my life, in my walk, um, being transgender. A lot of my crying, um, when she began to delve into it, was like really dealing with not moving forward at my job, 
being overly qualified and my only go-to with that I'm transgender that's the only thing that I can come up with but yeah when you know you are capable of a job and doing a, a task and not being afforded the opportunity um, that takes a toll um, ending a six-year relationship has taken a toll I make enough money to support me and my baby, but that has taken a toll, you know? One, I'm better for myself has taken a toll. All of those things have um, or, or led to me crying in this moment's office today. But you guys, hold me up in your strength. I'm gonna stay strong. I ain't gonna do nothing irrational, um, but yeah. Know that you're loved. Know that you're loved.